This is Mike McKinstry from Basquatch Hunter TV, and today I am super excited to try out a brand new kayak from Sea Stream Kayaks. Now, this is the first time this thing has been in the water. I literally just got it in, I unwrapped it, I put the rudder on, the pedal drive on, and loaded up in the trailer and headed out to the lake. So, we're gonna take it out and get my first impression of what I think about the stability, the speed, maneuverability, and all the features on this awesome new kayak. So let's get this thing out and let's see what we like about it. I do like this handle right here on the back. There's a nylon strap handle right by the rudder. So it makes it a lot easier to pull it out. Another thing I really like about this kayak too is I love that the rudder steering is right here on the side. It's flat, it's out of the way, it's low profile, and it's really easy to turn that rudder around. So one of the first things that I noticed right away too is the seat. Um, the metal frame mesh seat has been a staple with this brand with uh, Feel Free Kayaks and Three Waters Kayaks. They've been using this seat and I really, really like this one. So. I already know I'm going to like the seat on this kayak. Let's strap her in real quick. So the seat is adjustable to go forward and backwards. There we go. So the seat is secure now. So the first thing I notice about this too is the rear tank well on this kayak is huge. So I have plenty of room back here put anything I want. I can put a crate back here. I can unclip the bungees and put anything I want, a cooler, a crate for fishing gear. Um, also, the reinforced platform right here. I love this in all these kayaks too. So it's got a plastic reinforced platform with side draining scuppers. So all the water is gonna drain from the sides right here and then go down to a center channel and then come out by underneath the kayak. So you don't have any splash ups or anything to tangle on. Um, pedal drive will mount right here once I get it out. And then the front bow also has a lot of bungee spots, so you can have uh, any kind of gear, camping gear, anything you need right there. Molded handles in the front, rod tip protectors. You got uh, Unitrack rails right here in the front for accessories. I think it's gonna be a pretty cool kayak. And the hull design on this thing, here, get a shot of this hull. The hull design on this thing makes it look like it's gonna be really fast. So it's a nice tri-hull design. I'm gonna go ahead and assume it's gonna be pretty stable and move really fast in the water. So let's get this thing in the water and, uh, and see what it does. So this is the new rapid drive from Sea Stream Kayaks. And um, this is my first time putting it in this kayak, but I can already just by looking at the shape of it, the design of it, I can kind of make sense of how it goes in. And uh, I wanna see how this thing fits in. I wanna see how easy it is to put in and see how simple it is to mount and lock in. Looks like it slides in just like this. Um, there's a nice little latch right here that hooks on and that's it and that's solid. I really like the way that this pedal drive mounts in because it feels like it's really secure. There's no wobble side to side, there's no movement. And to lift it up, it looks like it's really simple. Boom, and then you can slide it back and have it out of the water. You can slide it forward and have it back in the water. So I really like the way that this pedal drive moves. Again, this is the rapid drive um, from Seastream Kayaks. And uh, man, it looks like it's pretty effortless too. And maintenance on this thing in the water, if you get weeds or you get in shallow water, you gotta pull it up. Lift this lever up right here, pull it up, slide it back, and now it's out of the water. Man, I can't get wait to get this thing in the water and check it out. All right, let's go, let's get it out. So I do like how light maneuverable this kayak is. It makes it really simple to move around the shoreline. It's definitely light. So now I'm gonna go a paddle. 
just in case. All right, so my favorite part about testing a new kayak out is I always bow mount my kayak. So I walk across the front of them to get in the seat every time. And it's kind of how I test stability. So my first time walking on this thing and uh, let's see how stable she is. Well, I'll tell you right now that the bow is stable. This is, this is nice. Yeah, this thing is, uh, I feel like this thing's gonna surprise me. Yep, that seat is comfortable too, just like I thought. All right, let's put this pedal drive down. And lock it in. Drop the rudder. All right, let's see how she moves. Oh, I gotta move the seat closer. Wow, this thing is fast. Look how responsive this kayak is. Twelve foot boat. Reverse. Yeah, for a twelve foot boat, this is incredibly maneuverable. I'm very impressed with the speed of this kayak already. Narrow haul, this is going to be a little bit quicker than what I'm used to with the wider boats. But for that, with the stability, this is, I mean, I feel pretty comfortable rocking this thing around, moving it around. Uh, this is a pretty stable boat right here. It's not even getting water over the sides yet. Even if you stand both feet on the sides right here, just like this, there's no water coming over the side of this kayak. So this is definitely a stable boat. Let's get a little bit risky here. Yeah, for a 12 foot boat, being as narrow as it is, I'm pretty impressed. Now, I don't recommend trying this until you're used to the kayak, until you're comfortable with the kayak. Uh, make sure you have a good balance, obviously, but I'll tell you what, this boat can handle it. All right, let's go fast and see how this thing does. All right, so the kayak pedals great, but I wanna see how it paddles now, because a lot of kayaks that have a pedal drive, they don't always paddle great too. So I'm gonna pull the rudder up, I'm gonna pull the pedal drive up, and I'm gonna see how fast I can get this thing and how maneuverable it is with the paddle now too. So first I'm gonna pull the rudder up. It's a really simple draw cord on the side. Now we'll pull the pedal drive up. All right, so I got the rudder up, I'm gonna pull the pedal drive up, and then we're gonna see how this thing paddles on the water. I really like how easy that pedal drive is to pull up and get out of the way too. But all right, now I'm gonna paddle this kayak. I'm using the Assassin pedal from Yak Gear and uh, let's see how fast I can get this thing going. Pretty maneuverable. So you do feel a little bit of drag when you first start paddling the kayak, like you will with most stable kayaks because of the flat bottom. But once you get moving, this thing actually glides on the water really easily. And I'm not gonna lie, if I was gonna pick a kayak to paddle and pedal, this is a pretty good matchup right here. This kayak was definitely fast, maneuverable, and stable, and it's very easy to use too. I'm really happy with this boat. I cannot wait to use it some more. So make sure you guys check your local dealers, ask them to carry the Sea Stream Angler 120 PD for the pedal drive, and check the price below in the description. And uh, this kayak is definitely amazing. I cannot wait to get in the water some more. So this is definitely Basquatch Hunter TV approved, and I'm gonna go hit the water now. So I'll see you guys soon.